It started. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. Thank you for joining me as we continue looking at the BMW. In fact, in this episode, we're going to dive into the BMW and see if we can bring a little life back to this thing and then start digging in to see just how much damage there actually is. Now, I don't know if you can tell by looking at me, but I am already nasty. I am recording this episode kind of backwards. Doug came over. You remember Doug. You'll see Doug in this episode if you don't remember him. But Doug came over today and helped me. And I actually, we got into, we got into working before I even turned on a camera. I forgot to turn on a camera. We got to working. So I had to go ahead and just start, uh, start rolling the camera halfway through and then uh, continue from there. So I apologize. This episode may end up being a little bit weird, but just follow along with me. It's a lot of fun because we made some serious progress. So thank you so much for joining us for it. I hope you enjoy it. So sit back and enjoy the ride as we dig into the BMW 335iS and let's see if we can bring it to life. All right, everybody. I don't know how this is gonna fit into the video because I started doing this without setting up any cameras. We're just trying to get the car some power so that we can, you know, try to get the top to do its thing and get the trunk open and all that. Uh, but we weren't able to get any power to it by just hooking up a jumper box. So the next thing, hey, Doug's here. <laughs> Doug's here over here helping me out. So uh, so the next thing was trying to get through the pass-through. This car has the uh, optional pass-through into the trunk. Uh, but it was full of crap that was in the trunk, so I couldn't get it all the way open. The engine cover and the air box and pieces of the trunk and just junk, okay? So uh, we got a lot of that out. Let me uh, turn the camera around and show you what I'm working with now. All right, so back here, you can see some of the pieces of the trunk here. We got this pass through. <laughs> and now we're trying to get to that popper right there to see if we can get this trunk open. You can see there's still junk back there, but we got some of the biggest stuff out. So I'm gonna try to get my fat body far enough in the hole here <laughs> that I can pop that thing and hopefully open the trunk. So wish us luck and I'll check in with you soon here and let you know how this worked out. All right, guys, this car's not labeled as biohazard, but I mean, look at all this nonsense, disgusting. Uh, we figured out why it won't take a jump. They're over here freaking out. Erica's trying to maintain prissy clean status. Doug's not helping. Prissy clean, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> anyway, we figured out the problem why it won't take a jump. Yeah, there's no battery. So, well, so that actually explains a lot. We're gonna have to find a battery to slap in there and see if we can get this car to uh, actually uh, take a jump and put some power to it. guys got the trunk all cleaned out much much improved uh, ready to go buy a battery for it got a whole barrel full of trash and then a few things that are either parts of the car or some things I'm gonna donate or something like that uh, we're gonna go run get a battery and see if we get some power to this thing Got juice now. Yep, I'm hearing it. Yep. Right. Get, you got a light in the trunk. Hey. Yep. There it is. All righty, guys. So we've got the battery in there. We're missing something that bridges two connections right here. So just using jumper cables, that got the job done. You can see we got light, we've got tail lights and whoops, I tripped myself. <laughs> got tail lights, got blinkers, all that's working. 
very excitingly we now have the mileage and it is accurate 64 711 that's about what we thought center screen works interior lights headlights we're partial on the headlights here so we've got that headlight working both fog lights working get a corner marker light out of this one I don't know if something's disconnected or well see every once in a while that blinks I bet you something's just loose yeah. uh, but that's the bad light anyway <laughs> anyway guys we have power to the car and uh, that's very exciting hard to say how long it has been oh yeah that side marker's not coming on either hard to say how long it's been since this car has had power to it very very excited I wonder if the side marker's working over here yep this side marker works oh it makes sense though that's the side that took the hit so excited though to see uh juice here in the dash of course we got every light under the sun here but we've got mileage that is good news well, all right guys that's excellent progress we've got uh got the thing turned on i don't know how all this stuff works i'm not going to fool with it too much i'm pretty sure it's not going to start because i'm pretty sure it's been disabled in the accident but let's see what happens it started and off she goes sounds nice <laughs> it started <laughs> No, I just decided to start it. Okay. <laughs> it started! It starts, guys. I'm actually not sure how it, it not, starts. It did not grind in anything. So yeah, I didn't hear any ugly noises. Far, <laughs> far back up. All right, we're going to start it for just a few more seconds this time. All right, you ready? <laughs> I got no power steering. But that's actually not surprising. Ah. Huh. Wow. Ah. Huh. Uh. It sounds good. It sounds really good. I want to try this top, but uh, we're going to wait on that until we find a more secure way to bridge that battery. But this is awesome. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off now. Did you check the oil? Did you show anything? No, I didn't check it. Why? That's what I said that for. Okay, let's try it again. Let's check the oil. <laughs> it sounds really good. It does sound really good. <laughs> it's got little snaps and crackles and pops. Wow. <laughs> That's <Sounds> awesome. <laughs> All right, let's see here. <laughs> past all the error messages. Vehicle info. Vehicle status, I'm guessing. Yeah, I see the oil thing. Engine oil level. It takes a second for it to run. Measuring oil level. It's got a low tire pressure. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Headlight restraint system. What else? Drive stability. Low tire. Yeah, it's got every error under the under the sun. It sounds good, so I'm guessing it's going to have great oil. I'm guessing. I'm praying, actually. Come on, BMW. Give us some oil pressure here. Sounds good. Man, it's taking a hot minute. Wonder how long it's been since this car ran. I'm smelling something. Something's getting warm. Yeah. Well, it hasn't run in forever. We have a problem. There's a fire extinguisher in the garage. Come on, car. 
How much oil you got in you? Yeah, I do want to turn it off here pretty soon. If it doesn't give me something pretty soon, I'm turning it off. Maybe I can't find any oil. It should give a low oil pressure alarm if it had no oil. So that's what makes me think it's probably okay. Well, it takes a long time, doesn't it? There we go. There we go. Look at that. Erica, show them the screen. Yay, we got oil. <laughs> Set the max line. Woohoo! Guys, I mean, I know this car looks rough and it's certainly filthy. And it's certainly got plenty of challenges still to overcome, but we got a lot of good news today. Had to work hard for it, but we got a lot of good news today. I am excited. Erica, are you excited? I'm very excited. She's excited. You can't see her, but she's excited. There she is. Flipper. <laughs> Yeah? See if you can scoot in here with me. Oh, okay. Um, it's been a while since I've been in the back seat with you, baby. <laughs> Did you say, are you say what? We have, keep it G-rated. We have children viewers. <laughs> um, oh, you know what? Hey, Doug. Yeah. Why don't you roll the windows, the back windows down? You have to plug it in or what? Yeah, there's a, a thing right there on the dash. Oh, you can just scoot it into, yep. <laughs> Just and then tap. Well, yep, you might have enough there. Just the rears. There we go. Go ahead. There we go. Now, Erica, you don't even have to get in here. Just reach through and get a hold of this loop right here. Okay. What and hold on it. Pull this? it this way toward the center of the car as far as it'll go. I can't tell. Can you clip find it again? Is it shot? Yeah. No, because I know you can do it from the fob and just hold it. Hmm. I wonder if it's got a fuse. Or maybe because those are up, it doesn't allow it. Maybe. I'm getting a red light if I push and hold. If I pull, I get nothing. I'm honestly not sure which way it's supposed to go. I'm assuming it's a pole. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Well, no top. That ain't going to work. So we still got to figure out how to get those roll bars down. All right, guys, so we're not going to mess with the convertible top. It's not going down for some reason, and we think it has to do with the rollover protection hoops that are up. Those things are supposed to be pretty easy to reset, but if you watch a video about resetting them, the top is already down. Uh, so they haven't been able to actually fully deploy, and because they're not fully deployed, I can't reset them. At least that's the assumption. Uh, so we're going to move away from messing with the top for now. We'll save that for another day. Maybe we can find a way to manually operate it because I know there are ways to do that. And now we're gonna go ahead and uh, unhitch the front where I've got it tied down from traveling. And we're gonna go ahead and jump in there, take this wheel off and see what all needs to be replaced so that uh, I can start ordering parts and make this thing roll. Because I think based on how it runs, if we can make it roll, she'll drive right off this trailer. So that's the goal. We're gonna go ahead and get working on that. Well, there's your problem. <laughs> okay. Something doesn't look right there. All right, well, something's a little off over here. So, uh, well, 
obviously the top of our uh, our strut here turned loose of itself so that's broken what else that's got a little hit to it but it's not broken there's some stuff that doesn't look great but huh. oh somebody's got a hook under here it looks to me like the subframe took a tweak well that's a bummer yeah subframes tweaked that's a shame Okay, what else? Oh, what's this? This is broken. Whatever this, yep, there we go. Is that a track rod arm or something like that? I don't know what that is, but that's broken. So that's easy enough. Uh, that's a bummer. I'm gonna have to find a subframe for it. Okay, well, it's good to know at least. All right, Jack just stopped by and uh, we took a look at some things further. So let me show you what we found and then Jack confirmed it for us. Well, first of all, this is fun. It must've broke the tie rod there. So they buggered that together with some weld, I guess just to make it work. Although I'm not sure how that was supposed to help them since this is all broken anyway. So obviously we need a strut. Uh, we broke the uh, sway bars bad. And uh, I honestly don't know what this is called, but whatever connects to the sway bar. What you guys couldn't see is that Erica just hit me in the head with, I don't even know what, but she hit me in the head with something. That's nice. I'm working on this car for you, you know. <laughs> anyway, so back to this. Uh, sway bar, sway bar end link, maybe. Um, tie rods, uh, strut is bad. Um, then, uh, of course, we got the frame. The frame is boogered up here, like I just pointed out. And then the subframe is bad. So basically, we need this corner <laughs> plus a subframe. Uh, Jack is not concerned about it. We will have to find a way to suspend the engine when we replace the subframe. Uh, and of course, I can source all of these parts, no big deal. So I'm gonna start working on that so that we can make this car roll, so that we can get it over the frame shop. He'll be ready for it pretty soon, so it'll be good to go ahead and get that to him uh, just as soon as we possibly can. So we're gonna work on getting that wheel uh, temporarily reinstalled so we can get it uh, to at least hold its own weight again. And uh, then we'll call it wraps for today. everybody that is where we're going to call it for this episode we made a lot of progress and i hope you're as excited as i am to see all the things that have happened we not only got power to this car we got it started it runs awesome it sounds awesome we tore it a little bit deeper into some of the suspension and front end damage and found some of the things uh, that need to be fixed so i'll begin working on getting parts in fact i've already been working on getting parts i've got some of the parts in my truck over there and i am going to continue working on sourcing parts especially now that i know more of what it needs then as soon as we can make this thing a roller we're going to get it over to jack and let him get to work on the framework and replacing that subframe so if you're not already subscribed why don't you go ahead and take care of that today and then ring that bell so that you can be notified each time i upload a new episode about this bmw 335 is or any of my other projects that i'm working on i've got a lot of irons in the fire so i hope you're as excited as i am to follow along with those Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.